You know, studies like this can be a great help and a great danger. There can be a great danger if anybody would take a study like this and say, if I'm going to build a building that looks like this, unchurched people will come. It's just, just, just not reality. I mean, years ago, people used to say, you build your buildings, they'll build your church. Well, that's based upon a real fundamentally flawed premise. The, the reality is, is church buildings should be built by churches that are growing and already reaching people. And they're trying to ask the question, how can we reach more people more effectively? How can we minister to those God has sent our way? And so when you look at this study, our exhortation to you at LifeWay Research, and I, I, I share the values of the Cornerstone uh, Knowledge Network, is that, that, that the, the lessons to be learned here are the way unchurched people think, but not everything unchurched people think is what we need to do. What we need to do is understand the way that they think, but our task is, is to be about the church. And the church, we're not talking about a building. We, we believe the church to be the body of believers, uh, Christ followers on mission together. And church buildings are tools. Um, and the problem is, in so many cases, tools become rules. And ultimately what happens is we end up spending all of our time servicing the facility rather than living in the mission. So church buildings done well can help us to live in the mission, to accomplish the mission. Uh, the challenge in our culture is people often equate church with that facility. And, and we need to remember as we build buildings that that's not our focus. Our focus is ultimately using this as a tool to accomplish the mission that God has given us. Anytime you look at research, and research like this indicates preference, the unchurched said we prefer this facility. But let's, let's just be honest. If the preferences of the unchurched about church facilities led to the action of the unchurched, that beautiful buildings would be their preference to go, then Europe would be the most church continent in the world. It's not. And so ultimately, we're not going to win this continent or any continent for Christ by building beautiful or ugly buildings. Either of those things are not going to accomplish it. What's going to happen is, is Christ's people shaped and formed by the mission of God engaging in their community and their context. So buildings are, are tools that we use to accomplish the vision and the mission God has given to this unique church. And we need to remember that the buildings are shaped by where God's called us to go. The, the how of church construction is in many ways determined by the who, when, and where of context. But at the end of the day, what we have to remember is, is that our buildings are not the objective. As a matter of fact, they, it's following God and being obedient to the mission. Our mission should shape our buildings. If our buildings shape our mission, we've missed the point. But if our mission shapes our facilities and they're tools for God's agenda, then ultimately this research and other research like it can help churches be more effective in engaging their community for the cause of the gospel and the name and fame of Jesus will be more widely known.